In late 2004, the launch of Expedition 10 was delayed beyond its scheduled October 9th launch date, when during pre-flight testing, an explosive bolt was accidentally activated on Soyuz TMA-5. The resulting damage was repaired prior to launch, and on October 14, 2004, Soyuz TMA-5, the 25th manned flight to the ISS, carried Expedition 10 crew Leroy Chow and Salazar Sharapov, along with Yuri Shergin, to the ISS atop a Soyuz FG rocket from Baikonur Cosmodrome. Two days later, while approaching the station, the crew and ground control noted that the approach was too fast. Therefore, the crew had to conduct a manual docking maneuver with the Pierce module. On October 23, 2004, the Expedition 9 crew of Gennady Padalka and Edward Fink, along with Shergin, departed the station on Soyuz TMA-4 and returned to Earth without incident. On station, Chow was the Expedition Commander and NASA Science Officer, and Sharapov was the Soyuz Commander and Flight Engineer. Both astronauts were researchers in the Advanced Diagnostic Ultrasound and Microgravity Project. Notable accomplishments of the mission included the replacement of critical hardware at the Quest Joint Airlock, repairing U.S. spacesuits, and submitting a scientific research paper on ultrasound use in space. Chow was also the first astronaut to vote in a U.S. presidential election from space. On November 30, 2004, the two crew members boarded Soyuz TMA-5 and separated from the Pierce module at 12.32 Moscow time and backed away to a distance of about 30 meters. After 21 minutes of free flight, Soyuz TMA-5 docked back to the Nadir port on Zarya. The Expedition 10 crew completed two spacewalks, one on January 26, 2005, and the second on March 28, 2005, which entailed experiment installation and tasks to prepare the station for the arrival of the new European Automated Transfer Vehicle, which was supposed to arrive in 2006, but wouldn't come until 2008. Two Progress craft also arrived during Expedition 10. Progress M50, which had been docked for four months, undocked and burnt up in the atmosphere on the 22nd of December 2004, thereby making way for Progress M51. Progress M51 was launched on a Soyuz Eukarya rocket from Site 15 at Bangalore Cosmodrome on December 23, 2004. The spacecraft docked with the aft port of the Svezda module on Christmas Day, December 25th. It remained docked for two months before undocking on February 27, 2005 to make way for Progress M52. Between undocking and deorbit, Progress M51 was used for a series of tests and wasn't deorbited until March 9, 2005, when it burnt up in the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. On February 28, 2005, Progress M52 launched atop a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 at Bangalore Cosmodrome. Progress M52 carried supplies to the International Space Station, including food, water, and oxygen for the crew, and equipment for conducting scientific research. Progress M52 docked with the aft port of the Svezda module on March 2, 2005. On March 28th, 
the ISS crew deployed the TNS-0 nano satellite, which was brought up by Progress M-52. On April 15, 2005, Soyuz TMA-6 launched on a Soyuz FG rocket from Bangalore Cosmodrome, carrying the Expedition 11 crew of Sergei Kirkulev and John Phillips, including an Italian astronaut, Roberto Vittori, who would be coming back with the Expedition 10 crew in Soyuz TMA-5. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Soyuz TMA-6 docked to the Pierce module on April 17, 2005. During their week on board the station together, the Expedition 11 crew will place the Expedition 10 crew, and on April 24, 2005, Chow, Sharapov, and Vittori entered Soyuz TMA-5 and undocked from the station. Like the docking of Soyuz TMA-5, Undocking was also done manually as a cautionary measure to save power on a faulty battery. During the return flight from the ISS, instruments in the descent module of Soyuz TMA-5 indicated a cabin pressure leak, but the landing was successful. On board the station, the crew performed routine maintenance, repair work, and scientific research, such as the foot experiment, the foot ground reaction forces during spaceflight, and the miscible fluids in microgravity investigation, and so on, practicing photography techniques with digital cameras, and these techniques were used to capture high resolution images of space shuttle Discovery before it docked to the station on its next mission. During Expedition 11, Progress M52, which had been docked for three and a half months, undocked on June 15, 2005, to make way for Progress M53. It was deorbited and burnt up in the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean later that day. The first Progress vehicle to visit Expedition 11 was Progress M53. Progress M53 launched on a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 at Bankinor Cosmodrome on June 16, 2005. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Progress M53 docked with the aft port of the Svezda module on June 19th. The docking was conducted using the backup TORU system under the control of cosmonaut Sergei Kirkulov due to a power failure on one of the spacecraft's ground control stations. Progress M53 carried supplies to the International Space Station including food, water, and oxygen for the crew and more equipment for conducting scientific research. After Progress M53 had arrived, on July 18, 2005, the Expedition 11 crew relocated Soyuz TMA-6 from the Pierce to the Nadir port of the Zarya to free up the Russian airlock for a future spacewalk. The next ship to arrive at the ISS would be Space Shuttle Discovery on the shuttle's return to flight. <laughs>